Hello everyone, and welcome to some more Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. This is, uh, this is the final of uh, the current run. We all super hyped. Yep. Yay. Way. It's going to be Way. over soon. We're going to hopefully have not failed everything. Yeah. It's going to be over <laughs> soon. Hooray. Would, would you like to... <laughs> Would you like to plug an upcoming project, Scott? No. Okay. <laughs> I will be doing a D&D-ish game at some point in the near future. I just need to find a day when I'm not busy. Ah. Fair. Right. It might be uh, Wednesday. Probably won't be. Oh, we'll see what happens. Anyway. So. Uh. <laughs> would someone like to do a brief recap of what happened last time? <laughs> um... It's a similar recap to Hillary Clinton gave of, um, I believe it was Libya. <laughs> uh, we enough. came, we saw, he died. Um... Yes. The worst part is fairly fitting. Who died? The guy. Uh, the guy. <laughs> um, he did. We, we cru well, we crushed the wedding, we... I guess not quite crashed the wedding. I guess we crashed like the day before the wedding. Invited. Yeah. Yeah, we were invited and we crashed the day before the wedding because everything else crashed into the day before the wedding. <laughs> Notably, the son of the son of the bride's father, who was the host. It's the bride's brother, then. <laughs> yes. Manfred upon a time. Yes. That's him there. We didn't get to kill him, did we? Fuck. No. Um, <laughs> Ingrid basically took him out as a pet. True. A little weird, but, you know. Alright. Um, she is taking him to a nice place with kind people. That's correct. You, you were... You wanted to go on a side adventure, which I forgot to prepare. Um, yes, the asylum, wasn't it? We, we can do that one at asylum. some point in the future, however, for now. One shot! Yeah. Oh, fair. Yeah. <clears throat> however, uh, you had chosen to visit one of the cities, wasn't it? Oui. Which one? Uh, in the wake of this... Yes. Terrible and eventful day before the wedding, and a fairly successful successful wedding. Which All city would you like to go shopping? Oh, I believe Altdorf had come up recently. Yeah, you can return to Altdorf. Yeah. All right. The wedding. The wedding was in. Uh, let me start here. Wedding was here in Bogenhofen. Well, outside okay. the city. Oh, okay. So you can Probably uh, go back to Bogenhofen then. There's also Altdorf, which is where you uh, encountered the uh, the. Um... We probably shouldn't, for the Baron's sake. The Baron's He's not, not with, with you. Us. Thank the heavens. Yep. Good point. Uh, or you can also turn to Null and uh, do like a, like a wrap up for the entire campaign, or at least this part of the campaign. What do we feel like? Yes, which which would you prefer, as you are the players? Which city would you like to go and do some endeavors in? Hmm. Also, I'm okay not one. from where the blood flows. Fair. Only that it is Kislevite. Alright. I am also uh, neutral on this. Alright. <clears throat> Let me get my sun timer down. Hi, Breaker. We're going to noon. Mull it is, unless anyone has any objections. No, I'm gonna get my my sun timer down, and I'm gonna give you the choice. You, you, I'll give you individually the choice of which city. Um, Are you resetting up? Or? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm getting my sun timer. I'm gonna start the endeavors, and uh, I'm going to uh, just go it down by. I'll I'll do the way we did last time, <clears throat> where I'll do each person. Everyone does one, and we'll do that three times. And there you go. You get new armor, new new stuff. Make some pocket money, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. So, um, 
Which, you know what, you know what we can do to the... Can I get an initiative order? Mm. While well, using initiative order rather than using either the Discord or the in-game one, because I've already used those ones multiple times. Uh, I guess we drop ourselves down and just roll then. Yep, just roll initiative, and then that'll be the okay. order. Yep. If uh, you place down your uh, token bed, you should be able to. Uh... Yeah, no, I had uh, technical difficulties. I just got it fixed. Ah, uh, cool. uh, Phil. My uh, my headphones went silent, and then I just started going. Oh back no! And forth, like static Gosh. on either ear, pulsing. It was really weird. Yeah, I've had really that happen annoying. once. It is annoying. Um, did I put my? No, I think I screwed up. There we go. Oh. Appears... Do you reset your HP? <laughs> it appears that Bart Chumps has been injured. <laughs> My body hurts so much. <laughs> Fell down I the stairs. Hmm? Fell down the stairs on the way out of the castle. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, roll an initiative. Uh, should I add you to the list? Yep. Uh... Uh, let me select myself and then yeah. roll. All right, let me set it to descending order. Here we go. Oh, with the alarm fist, Mr. Pastafari, you get to be first. Yes, sir. So, so, in the following, it, it'll take you like a couple of days to get back to Nol, and mm -hmm. a week after that will be the next quest. Will be the, you know, after two weeks, basically the next quest. So within the next two weeks, what has Bar what has Barnum been up to? What is your first endeavor? My first endeavor actually is seeking out a kennel. A kennel, okay. And bringing with me to to Burgundy. So you want to set him up in a kennel, or you want to buy a kennel to have him sleep in? I'm going to set him up in a kennel. Okay. And where would you like to to leave him in a kennel? Back in Null? Yeah, back in Null. I guess so. Let's swap to... Oh, this might fuck up the initiative tracker for Yi, but it should, should stay at my end. Um, so? There you go. So, you're going to Null. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to find a kennel uh, that will take to the Duke of Burgundy. Can you please roll a me? What would be an appropriate test for that? How about like a perception test or uh, a gossip test? I think that's what gossip is for. Let's use gossip. Yes, sir. Yeah, see if you can find uh, someone yes. that might point you in the right direction. You find. Apparently, a dog kennel business in Nuln. Hello? Uh, hello, bonjour. Ah, you are also from Breton. Ah, Provence. Provence. Hello. Provence, uh, you. I am Barnum of Breton. I, I have a bit of a predicament with I my am, current. I am Henri. Della Provence. Good to meet you, Andre. Yeah. I have a bit of a predicament uh, yeah. <laughs> with my current employment. Mm -hmm. I am not able to be watchful and uh, on the vanguard. Oh, no, no, no. The servingly of m for my dog, Duke Burgundy. Oh. You wish to leave him here? I was hoping 
to leave him in better care than what I can afford him currently. To be clear, are you giving him up, or are you having him take care of him while you're not a, while you're away? He's giving him up. Oh, okay, you're giving him up. Ah, oh, oh, no, I no, 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 I can no longer provide for him. Not like he deserves. Oh. I, uh, I was hoping to leave him in your care, uh, as far as I am aware, indefinitely, or unless, of course, you want to put him up for adoption or something similar. Mm-hmm. Well, Monsieur, let me have a look. <clears throat> so he's gonna inspect the Duke of Burgundy. <laughs> oh damn. <sighs> well, Monsieur the uh Z the Duke, he appears to be in a very good condition. I will offer you one gold for him. I am delighted. In that case, I leave him in your perfect tier. You can make a haggle test to try and adjust the price, Pastor. I'm just saying the dog is for two. I, I guess we could try. Yeah. I guess we could try. Fair yeah. enough. Hmm. So how are you, how are you gonna how are you gonna work that? Um. Oh, you saw them? He is a quite magnificent dog, though I have not been able to shine him as he should, of course, be shined. Because he is a diamond. Although, he might look a diamond, diamond in the rough. Oui? Ah, oui. Was that <laughs> really <laughs> necessary, Pasta? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I, I approved. I felt compelled. <laughs> yeah, he, he will give you two gold. Two gold coins for the for the Duke of Burgundy. I'm sorry, man. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> it's you're, fine. You're, I'm just you're like... fine that he is of a noble Barca type. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I got to pause for a minute there. Yeah, but oh, I was God. about to make a pop on too. I know I can't use. It. <laughs> oh no. So uh, he will give you two gold coins, Pasta, and you have uh, you've given up the Duke of Burgundy for adoption. Before he leaves, he's going to pat Duke Burgundy on the head and uh, say, Monsieur Duke Burgundy, I'm sorry I could not care for you, as you are worthy. I wish you the best. Oui. Oh, the dog gives you a big hug and goes <laughs> off with uh, Henri de, de Perron. And now I must back to my employer. Have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's me, Mr. Azov. Over the the next two weeks, what would be your first endeavor before your next quest? I'm gonna search for Kislevites. All right. Can you make me a uh, either a gossip test or a perception? Any mod? Um, not for this one. So over the next two weeks, you do not find any Kishlevites. Interesting. It is mysteriously quiet, Mr. Azov, as uh, Kishlevites might be up to something. So you cannot find any. They can only well, be that was hiding, a fun endeavor. waiting to jump out and get you at any moment. Uh, yep, that was a quick one. Um, who's next? Really engaging. Yep, Mr. Copperhead. Uh, I plan to go and check in again with my boss and be like, "Hey, I'm back for a few weeks. What do you need me to do?" Oh, uh, back at the garden, Nom. Yep. Okay. I'm assuming I'm on some kind of special operations thing where I can basically come and go and get paid for what work I'm there for because I'm a useful member of society or it was, something. It was more like you were using your sick days to go and moonlight as a bodyguard. I mean, that works too. Uh, can you make a perception test to do your... I can days. find it. 
I know I made this joke every time, but I'm sure I'm gonna miss it once. Yeah. There we go. No. 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 So the endeavor I've put you down as is looking f uh, like doing your current job. So um, <clears throat> as you return to your work in uh, Null for a week, you uh, you fail to stop a robbery. Uh, the guy escaped. Nice. Uh, you failed to stop a mugging, and some old lady got stabbed. And uh, Jeez. yeah, you're not you're not feeling too good about uh, your your job. And you, uh, um, what is your current status at the moment? Uh, you're silver four. Can you roll me forty tens? I can. You receive 31 silver for your doing your job. Yay. However, you feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least I didn't, like, kill anyone that I shouldn't have. Yeah. I feel like you might, you have been doing much better work working with the, the nobles than uh, working this this dead end uh, uh, gumshoe job. Understandable. I'm I'm trying to fucking remember old old timey police words. All right, Mr. Bart. Hello. Hello. Um, would you like to do an endeavor, and what would you like to do? Yeah, upon returning to Nuln. Yep. Uh. I suppose Bart is going to try to fold himself in with a local local doctory and just work there for a little bit, doing doctory work and barbary work. Yeah. You want to apprentice with someone, or you want to try and continue working with the Embostine household? Uh, let's stick with the the household, I suppose. All right. Uh, let me go to the Null Province. And adjust the thing to be over here, as you are here, not over there. Mm. Oh no! Yeah, would you like to? Uh, what is the career-specific thing for doctor? I don't have that in front of me. But I could find it if you don't. Uh, have it. Uh, career-specific has. Mm, uh, the, uh, so every skill has one in italics, which is your career-specific skill. Oh uh, yeah, the group advanced skill. Yeah. Uh, in this case, it would be trade barber. We yep. um, and I have surgery too in my talents. Mhm. Mm um, um. You're a also heal. <laughs> I'm may, not sure which one we're one. using. Yeah. Um. Da, da, da. That is the rules for character creation. That is. A beggar, that's an apothecary, as an engineer, there's the, there's a the physician. Yep, You're that's a physician. A, yeah, can you make either a trade barber or a heal test, please? I'll do trade barber. <laughs> no, I'll use a fortune point to try again. Okay. That's better. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, you, uh, you managed to get, uh, to help out some, uh, some noble uh, people who have some, uh, some extra, some extra cash on hand to get their hair caught while they listen to a jaunty tune. Yep. What is your current status, Ben? Uh, silver three. Alright, can you roll 2d6? Are two D D tens, sorry. Right. And are three D tens plus additional two. So what's that? That's five D tens. Oh, five D. Yeah, you get a bonus. Uh, there you that go. is thirty-eight. No. Get my calculator. Uh, to nineteen plus seventeen is thirty-six. My brain is 
36. Yeah, my yep. brain is so good. You got you got a bonus from some of the nobles to give you a little bit extra for the jaunty tune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you uh you've acquired lot uh, quite a bit of cash to uh pay for your father's medical treatment. Uh, so forty one silver. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, that's my short term. <laughs> Raise thirty silver shillings by performing barbary slash surgery slash singery. Yep. So, <laughs> don't take it. Wait so, a second. He he does surgery to pay for his father's surgery. Uh, his father's medical treatment to buy medicine. He has a yeah. special kind of sickness that I cannot fix with surgery. <laughs> 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 There's a reason why he became a surgeon. You can't do surgery on chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You surgically add so, a chromosome uh, into him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to excise some chromosomes from you, sir. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah. So that's my short term technically accomplished. Master Steel. <laughs> What would you like to do for your first endeavor? And in okay. which city? <laughs> I'm going to attempt to find and buy the materials needed to try and craft a repeater pistol. Ah. Uh -oh. uh, which city would you prefer to do that in? Null or Altdorf? Null would probably be better. Okay. Null has the cannon stuff, so that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Nonsense, we fight with cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I could craft a cannon. Cannons cannot be believed. Um, cannon. I'm not sure about the crafting part, but you definitely will be able to at least find someone that can assist you. Um, you actually know someone who can assist you. You can get your buddy, the boy, the pistol ear, to come and help. Mm. Um, I forget his name, but he has a name somewhere. Does he have a space that could work in? As he well? does have a workshop. Cool. So if yeah. I go you up can to work him with there. Chummy, I can use his workspace potentially. Can you make uh uh what what's the rarity on the um, repeater pistol? The item itself is uh just fine. What's its availability? It's a rare availability. A rare. Okay, so it has a minus ten on the test. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um. Do you have uh, trade engineering? Yep. You do? Okay, can you make me a trade engineering test at minus 10? Okay, do. Da da. Da 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 da. I shall re roll that with a fake point. <laughs> I think you blew up the workshop. <laughs> oh, I always forget about the. Ah, oh, goddamn. Oh, okay. dear. Yeah. Well. It feels slightly oh, worse. Um, uh, yep. I'm gonna hold on to the materials because they cost me money. Um, mm -hmm. And for my second endeavor, when we get to that, I'm gonna do the test again. Okay. Yep. Can I use a fate point? What, to redo your one? Yeah. To find Kishlevites? Yes. Sure. Uh, I always forget to use those. And... Yeah, I take it you're okay, done. It failed, uh, but still. Do. Yeah, whatever. It failed. You're done, Stu, then, yeah? Yep, for now, yeah. yep. Alright, and Kotrak, you failed, so never mind. Yep. You'll get a chance in a minute to try again. Um, Barnum. You there, Pasta? Oui, pardon. Yeah, we uh, are already ahead of time, as we are only 20 minutes into the recording. And the majority of that was us doing a, a, a silly intro. And now, <laughs> we've already burned through the first round of Endeavor. <laughs> In yeah, less than 15 I minutes. I was not like expecting us to get around this fast. Yeah, it's it's okay. it's almost like if we plan ahead, we can get it done quicker. Almost <laughs> like if you fail the roll and you don't do anything else, it goes really quick. Yeah. Also fair. Yeah. Uh, okay, All Barnum's right. gonna seek out a mm -hmm. wagon merchant. A wagon merchant. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, you want weirdly specific. To... Would you like yes. to make a gossip test to ask people around town where you can find a wagon merchant? Yes. I will use un fake boy. Uh, uh, no, no wonder I they can't clear. understand you. You're speaking both German and French. <laughs> uh, a fortune boy. Yeah. yeah, I combine that. Yeah. Unfortunately. 
Switzerland. And I guess I fail on that account. <laughs> even, even I'll worse. get back to it. <laughs> yeah. Just do me. You can't Next seem one. to find a wagon merchant. However, you you are aware, Pasta, that there is a depot over here for, like a inter city, like an inter city. Uh, what's the word? Like a stagecoach. Am I able to visit it, this endeavor? Or um, not right event? now, but you do remember suddenly that there's one there. So when we come back, you can try that or something else. So yes, they, they might use wagon merchants. <laughs> yeah, they might be able to point you in the direction of where they buy their wagons from, basically. That's fair. Yeah, Mr. Azov. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, you know I, I think I'm gonna go search for them. I think because our endeavors are going so fast, you get you get a boneless endeavor. You get a fourth one. We'll come back to nice. it later. Um, what was that coat rack? I think pretty much. I would like to search again. For for Kishlevites, okay. Yes. Okay, fair Any enough. <laughs> um, plus ten. Hey. Which city are you searching for Kishlevites in? Uh, Null, I believe. Yeah, Null. Oh, Null. So as you return to Null, you search out for Kishlevites. You find a single Kishlevite with his Yushenka and a big cocked feather in it. He bumps into you in the street as you're out drinking one night. And he's mm. like, tells you to piss off in Russian, and wanders off down the street. Down an alleyway to have a piss. Okay, I'm going to follow him. Yeah. And uh, as soon as he like has his pants down, I'm going to attack. Oh god. <laughs> he has Pepe. You going to knife him or? Feels good, man. Just beat him up. I'm going to punch him really hard with my uh, knuckle dusters on. Oh, you've just become a serial killer. Okay, I see. <laughs> So, uh, what, yeah. what do I do? Do I roll the attack or something? Yeah. For his pants to be down makes that sound significantly more nefarious. It does, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, make, make, make a on arm strike. <clears throat> uh, so I roll with the uh, stat block of the knuckle dusters, right? Yeah, the knuckle dusters one, yeah. Uh, any modifier? Guess uh, it's yeah, you are surprising him, so you get a plus 10 for the advantage you gain on this. Ooh, damn. Yeah, that's that's the insta kill. <laughs> uh, bah, bah. You punch him so hard in his right arm, he just died. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of Death Wish also, Three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know how he died from getting punched in the right arm, but okay. <laughs> I just kind of like tore his chest out to with it. Punched his arm so hard that his entire chest gets ripped off of his body. <laughs> he, he only he has. <sighs> He only ha he had no wounds and he only had eleven wounds. Or he, he only he has no armor and only had eleven wounds, and Excellent. his tough toughness bonus is like three, so <laughs> he's just fucking insta killed. <laughs> oh, oh well, yep. Somehow you killed him. <laughs> Good job. Prevail, and then he heads off. Do you want to like steal his wallet or anything? Uh, is there a wallet? Then yeah, sure. Well, if you have yeah. a look. There might be one mm. make a perception test. Is there a wallet? Uh, any modifier? Uh, no, not for this one. Okay. No, there's no wallet. Yeah, he I'm does have a stupid Kislevite hat with a big cocked feather. I'm gonna pee on the hat because it's ugly. <laughs> he was gonna pee on it. Boy, it'll it'll make it, it'll make this look like more of an accident, and then yeah. I head off. Yep. <laughs> Why he accidentally violently broke his arm while pissing. <laughs> he broke his arm so hard that he fucking died from it <laughs> and pissed all over himself. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Alright, yeah! Mr. Copperhead. Anyway, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the satisfaction of doing the right thing. He's just a serial killer. He's not a murderer. So having, <laughs> so having concluded that my uh, my current employment is kind of Sketchy at best. I am going to attempt to seek um, employment oh. on a. Uh, I, I just meant that um, you're getting depressed in your river. job. Basically, you want to swap to the to the the river warden one, is it? 
Well, I'm going to attempt to, uh, you know, I'm going to specifically try and get, like, work around the docks and just try and see oh, if you, I can get work. You want to change doing... careers, do you? Mm, not necessarily. Yeah. Oh, you want to take on extra jobs? But it's not necessarily. It's more the I am a... Um, I'm looking to get the guard to honor guard position. Um, because I have the career path that seems fairly back-facing based on my current position. So it's the... Uh, basically, I'm going to try and see if there's any river boats going anywhere fancy that might do, you know, that might want some, uh, so we say, something more hands. skillful. Yeah. Well, like you, what you did with the Aver company. Hmm. Yeah. Well, but like specifically, like one of the nicer ones because you know I have experience with you know working with nobles, and if they ask for like references, I can send them a list of stupid names. Mm -hmm. uh, oh damn, that's bad. Um, yep, yeah, I rolled for a random event. Um, okay. Um, make me a perception test. Uh. No. Yeah, yeah. No one seems to be willing to uh, take on an extra hand at the moment. Um, Understandable. Yeah. It's the trying that counts. Uh, you do encounter um, the the captain from the Aver Company, and he right. uh, he is over there, and you can uh, try talking to him on your next uh, your next endeavor, basically, when you come around to it. Um. Maybe able to get pick up some work with him, uh, Mr. Bart. Hello. Hello there. Welcome hey. back. What would you like to do? Well, upon finishing what I was doing, Barbary and such, I suppose I would head down to Noln. Down the river. Are you back down to Noln? Yeah. Yeah, I'll spend a, a like. After he's been working before the Barbary for a while, he'll head back into Nolm to deposit his wealth. Ah, oh, you want to go to the bank? Yeah. Buy my shady bank. Yep. You go to the bank. Uh, I got a moment. Uh, which one of these is the bank? It was I, the... I actually yeah, have an interior for the bank. I found it. Yeah, I... Yeah, it was like the, the, the creepy gang bank. Yeah. There you go. You can drop yourself down if you want. You come in and there's like some Sicilian music playing. <laughs> mm, lovely. Yeah. Hello. Listen hey, buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> buongiorno. I would like to make a deposit into my account. Oh. Welcome back to the Volpe Family Bank. Indeed. Uh, Mr. Bartholomew Chumps. Uh, currently have... Uh, 26 crowns. Gold I crowns. The bank. Yeah. yeah. 26... I've noted here 39.6. Oh. Yeah. Is that interest or something? That might have been interest, yeah. So you have 39... Right. Point or thirty nine gold crowns and six uh, silver in there. That's what he All has right. on his books. Uh, did you All want right. to withdraw, make a withdrawal, or a deposit? I would like to make a deposit. Ah. Oh. Of um, <laughs> thirty five silver shillings. An additional thirty five. Okay. Yeah, it's silver sh silver shillings. So that would silver. be three point five gold. So plus thirty five shillings. Go. Uh, Forty four gold plus five shilling. Um, total, I guess is what would be in the bank. Point. Yeah, and five shillings total. Yep. And uh, in terms of the interest I am making on this account, uh, could I uh, ask what the, uh, the rate is on my returns? 
Uh, you do have an eight percent interest rate. Right? Ooh. It might accidentally have been eighty, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's have, a lot. I may have done a math miscalculation. <laughs> Oh, it's like a monopoly, yeah. you know. Oh, bank error in your favor. Get eighty percent interest. All right. uh, no, no, no. The, here's the backside. It's probably part of the money laundering. So, if you yeah. were to assist me with a uh, with a little problem, the interest rate oh, might yeah. uh, might improve if you're not happy with oh. it. That depends on the matter of the problem, but I'm glad to help if it's yeah. within my means. Yes, you see our our rival. Uh, um, oh, I forget the medieval word for banker. Um, is uh, money monger. Yeah, he is uh, encroaching on some of our uh, businesses, and we wish to, uh, you know, <laughs> fix that problem. As hmm. you are a uh, very capable surgeon, I hear. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Remarkable surgeon. Yeah. Your you impe impeccable blade skills. Yes. Yeah. Would you mind uh, it'd be a sh it'd putting be a shame your if he got sick. your surgeon's knife in his back in one of the alleys? <laughs> but of course, I could uh, ponder such work. <laughs> you prefer short-term operations or long-term planning for operations? Well, we shall see. I do have like outpatient service. I do have that. like your entire life's wealth in my bank account. <laughs> it's true. No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm happy to help. Mhm. Mm Very good. What's the name? He, uh, What's the face? He guy gives you a little picture of the guy. It's like hand drawn, and uh, tells you his address. I thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. I hope we will have good results in a very short time. Oh, Bye. I'm sure we will. Yes. All right. All right. So I, I guess I have my next endeavor. <laughs> Go fucking knife me. guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Bart's gonna be a little more clever about it than that, but we'll yeah. come back. All right. So, Master Stu, what would you like to do for your endeavor? Uh, I will once again try and craft this thing. All oh, right, make another engineering test. Yeah. I believe it. I'll re-roll that. I get. I think it gets a debuff because it's the second time. Just give me a quick minute to look at the crafting rules again because I have to turn the <coughs> page. Uh, because the more times you try it, it it gets harder. Um, you know what? I don't see it, so I will ignore that for the moment. But I know I do remember seeing that at some point. Uh, would you like to use a fate point? Oh, you did. I've just done it. Yeah. All right. That's me. Yep. Oof. Um. Oh, right. Really on that one. So, before we get to you, Pasta. In the intervening week, as you travel back to Nuln, because most of you all went back to Nuln, you encounter through one of the villages you have traveled a malicious melody that has uh, a, a, a illness that has stricken the people in that village. Can I get. Wait, did you say melody or malady? Hmm. Ma malady. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. The musical plague, no. Yeah, I thought it was like, oh shit, the Pied Piper is out for a rass. Well, it could have been a project melody, but you never know. Um, so, can I get everyone to make a plus 40 toughness test? Sure. Yeah. That was, um, what was the modifier on the one? 40. 4 zero. Plus okay. 40, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Seven level of success. Or plus seven, I should Ooh, nice. Plus nine. Nice. Okay. Can I use a fortune point on you this? You have 70 toughness? Yes, you could. Yes. I shall do so. I could steal uh, these like 110. <laughs> yeah, I may have Our put some advances in that. 110. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm a brick in this house and I keep right. forgetting this. You all okay. very easily avoid catching the bloody flocks. No. The heavens! Yeah, that could have been really bad if you got that. Oh, yeah! 
All right, pasta. Yes. Uh, my current point would be yes, going down to the depot as you suggested. Mm -hmm. Going down to the depot for the wagon or the the, the fucking wagon to place. See, yes, yeah. to search out the constructors of the wagons. Yep. Yep. You, you head over there and. Uh... Hello. Anyone here? Uh, what you want? Uh, I was wondering. You have some quite nice wagons. Uh, I was wondering, uh, where do you have the mid? Make a charm test. <clears throat> oh dear. Okay, fair enough, actually. Yeah. Ash. <laughs> okay, it's my final fucking fortune point. A dirty peasant I'm walks up it. to this man <laughs> and asks him where his wagons are made. <laughs> It's my... Yeah, no, never mind then. Fortune never helped me anyway. He points Except you in the was... direction of a wagon place. Fair enough. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, you don't have any spare wagons you're looking to sell, do you? Well, we've got a second hand one. Uh, how much? Hang on, I need to get the book from the shelf. Wagon. What kind of, uh, what size of wagon are you looking for, Pasta? Well, what's the second hand one? I'd say maybe medium, too little. Yeah, medium wagon. He's willing to sell you the second hand medium wagon for about a hundred gold. A hundred? Yep. Uh, do we have any small? He's like, well, if you go and contact those guys over there, they'll probably have one for about 75. Uh, we okay. Um, never mind then. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you for, for uh, answering my question. Yep. Uh, Wagons are expensive. <laughs> oui, they are. All I right. like how I made that my short term goal. Hang <clears throat> on. You might, you can adjust that and uh, figure out. Yeah, the, the both books say wagons are seventy-five. Yeah. Um. In that case, that's me. Um. Yeah, you might be able to get a cart, which is like twenty gold, pasta. I'll have to do my third endeavor before that. Yeah. But then I don't. Well, yeah. my fourth endeavor at this point. So, yeah, so I, you, I think you'll I'm get just gonna leave one. it. You'll get another chance at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll leave it for the time being. So. Uh, who is next? As I am currently trying to stop the book from falling down. Uh, Mr. Azov. Uh, yeah. As your penultimate endeavor, what would you like to do? I will continue the purge. Mm-hmm. What's that, perception? Yeah, perception or a gossip test to try and track down a kitchen. Cool. Neutral? Uh... Modifier. Plus 10. You're feeling good about yourself. Alright. And you, uh, you find one. Uh, somewhere outside the temple district. He appears to have, uh, left the, uh, temple of Ulrich recently. Mm. In fact, you see him walk out of it, and he's coming in your direction. He tips his hat at you and says, Good day, sir. Continues on. Uh, sorry, so am I like out in the open right now? You're like in the temple district. Mm. I'm gonna say, Oh, good day indeed. And I'm gonna start walking with him. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say to him? Good day. Ah, hello. Can I help you? You know where 
place is. Wait, do you mean a random place? You know where place is, uh... Yes? Can help? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> can, I, can I, uh, buy you a vodka and we can, uh, figure out what you're looking for? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, good idea. Alright. You go for a vodka with them in a okay. nearby bar. Well, on the way there, uh, when we're going through one of the alleyways, I'm going to hit him. Yep. Make a strike, an unarmed strike. Alright. Um, as uh, you hit him, he gets very pissed off. Uh, you you knock him to a knee, and uh, he gets up, and he is going to attempt to f fight fight back as you uh, have assaulted him in in the street. Um, da -da -da, where is oh, there? It is. Uh, I said he was human, didn't I? I mean, you said he was a Kislelite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. He, uh, as you strike at him, he uh, he draws a weapon on you. And, uh... <laughs> Would you like to, to, to make a unarmed strike on that? To, to see if you can get a, a blow in again? Yeah, you can get a second blow in. Critical <laughs> success! So eight plus eight. You catch him like just below the chin, like in the throat, and uh, and then you wind him, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you, you killed him. <laughs> Does this prevail? He is wearing a wolf pelt, and he has a blade in his hand, a sword. Kishlevite blade and a uh, a wolf rick pelt. I just will check his Old pockets. Fruit. Yep. You can make a perception test or All right. equivalent. Let's see what else he has on him. <laughs> nope. No, he 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 doesn't have anything on him. Mm. Other nothing than of value. Of yeah. course, nothing of value. Yeah. <laughs> just just the light. <laughs> yeah. So as you walk away and we move on to Skog, I'll point out that the the blade itself, like a sword in the center. It's worth two gold. <laughs> uh, I don't care about that, but I was gonna take the jacket. <laughs> Are you gonna wear his jacket away? Yeah. His wolf wolf pelt jacket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you now have I, I a Kishlevite jacket. A would be a bit, having a weapon, I th uh, you know, have, just having that guy's weapon, I figured might be suspicious, but you know, it's a nice jacket. Yeah, the Kishlevite jacket you can add to your inventory. I'm going to call it wolf pelt jacket. Kislevite jacket. <laughs> Kislevite wolf pelt jacket, fine. Yep. Yeah. And are you taking his his uh, wolf pelt of his old Rick wolf pelt? Huh? He had a like a wolf pelt as part of there. It's like the holy symbol of the people who follow up the god Ulfric. They have to go and kill a wolf. Mm. As part mm. of their religion. And then they uh, wear it around everywhere. That, do that doesn't mean anything to him. Alright. You just steal his jacket. Cool. Yes. You could add a okay, so add a jacket. the white jacket to your inventory. I, I All right. Kislevite jacket in my inventory. Uh, Copperhead, it is your turn. What would you like? To I do? would like to go to the bank, please. Yeah, you go to the bank and you uh, you wander in and you hear the uh, the uh, Italian music in the. Uh, Pizza uh, pasta, put it in a bowl. Uh, as you walk in, uh, Bart walks out, <laughs> tips his hat. <laughs> yeah, Cobra is playing GTA old. It'd be up a civvy and steal his fucking shit. Stole his coat. Alright. Spider Man 2 pizza theme, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Copperhead, you walk into uh, the. Uh... Yes. The place. So I would like to deposit two gold and fifty silver. Two gold and fifty silver. Yeah, 
two gold and fifty silver. Okay. Yep. So which will take my. So I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna write this down. Yeah. So you're gonna. This is the. You currently have. Uh, zero gold in there. I'll say if I'm. If I'm updating the interest on it, then I probably want to do that before depositing. Yeah, well, interest, you have a 6% interest rate with him. Uh, you currently have 65 uh, silver yeah. and 6 brass. However, I also apparently have 65 gold and 6 silver, and I'm not quite sure where that um, ties into it, things. It's silver and brass. The uh, I, I think oh. I read it wrong last time. Okay. Oh, hang on, no, no, you're right. No, you were right. Hang on, I'm, I misread it out this time. Uh, because I, I made notes on top of my notes because I realized there was a mistake there. So 65 gold and six. I mean, silver. I'm pretty sure that it should be silver and copper. Yeah. But I'm not complaining if it's not. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're getting bought off. Hmm. Well, considering I invested 41 silver. Getting sixty-five gold back seems yeah. excessive. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Maybe There's you want to ask serious about inflation that. In this economy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, if they want my, if they just, I'm like, I'm not taking my money out anytime soon. So, 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 how much are you putting in now? It. I'm invest. I'm depositing two gold, fifty silver. So, four gold, ten. Fifty silver. Uh, so you're putting in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, four gold and ten. Ten silver. Yeah. Ten silver. Four gold, ten silver. Mm hmm. Alright, so, uh, Mr. Leo will, uh, thank you for the business and say, uh, hopes that, uh, the gift will, uh, aid you. Okay. I'm sure it will. Yep. Sure, the uh, there's no crime in this neighborhood. I'm sure there isn't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I work here in the city as a guard, so I should probably know this. But yeah, there's a, there's a reason why you ended up with 65 gold. Maybe the banker is buying you your silence. <laughs> yep, there's definitely no crime here. So I would have not buy him anymore. Yeah. Uh, what would I have an additional interest? Amount or is that just the sixty-five gold plus the four Would you gold like amount? To re-roll your interest rate? No, I'm just wondering if there's another amount to be added. Is all just so I can tidy the numbers up a bit? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So I have. Uh, uh let me calculate this up. So six five plus four. I can do the maths. I I I, I hope I can do the maths that easily. Oh, I'm doing the maths. I'm writing it down. Uh, so 69, uh, 10 is a 16 silver. Oh, I so. should have 69 gold, 16 silver. Yep. Okay. Just so I have the same number. Cool. Uh, so if that is you then, go on to Bart. There, Ben. We may never know. We can come back to him. Master Stu. Okie doke. Uh, so was this the third endeavor run? This is your third one, and you'll have one more after this. Because I'm giving you okay. bonus ones, because we've, we've gone through them so fast. You were All actually right. prepared ahead of time, so you get a you get a bonus one as a thank you. I wouldn't go that far, but... <laughs> All right. I would. I'll, I'll attempt to try and get some progress on building this thing for the third endeavor again. Yep, just do the same again. All right, I'll use my last fortune point to try that again. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, the well, guy attempts me. to help you and fails. Yep. Uh, he's going to use his fate point because he has one. And with the minus ten, was it? Yeah. Uh, what was the difficulty on that again? It was a. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, you done it. 
So you got one success level. Again. You got one success. He... So here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, how many success levels do you need to craft it? Because it says it's up to the GM. No, that's it. He, he's made the gun. It's not a very good one, but he's he's made one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Right. He, he, he like points system. out that you're like holding the tool but like the wrong way or something. Mm. Alright, coolio. Um, your pistolier friend, whose name I'll look up in a second, uh, assists you, and uh, you have completed your pistol, your repeater pistol. Very good. Uh, um, there it is. Okay. Has Ben returned? Yes. Ah. Fantastic. No. Maybe. Uh, ben, uh, I, I'm, he I'm here. What would you like to do for your endeavor? Alright, so I'm going to spend a few days observing the patterns of behavior of this guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, see, see that what That is actually the endeavor you can do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to set myself up for finding a clever way to remove him. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see uh, what his day you know his day to day life looks kind of like for a few days. Yeah, just to put this name down here, if you want to add it to your notes, too. The pistolier's guy's name is Lieutenant Gerald Smith. Gerald Schmidt. Yeah. When right. you do a stakeout on a guy and realize his life is too depressing, so you let him live because it's worse than killing <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're staking out this man. Okay. Uh, combat training study. Study a mark. That's it. Uh, uh, are you a rogue? You are. Um, can you make a perception test with plus zero? So just a challenging perception test. Uh, I'll use my fake point. Do that again. Hope it's better. No. Oof. So, I have two more fate points, I could try again. Fortune points, whatever they're called. Um, I think you can only use them or one at a time. Or you can do one at a time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, as you sit outside no. his store and you watch him, you notice there seems to be a pattern to his movements. He, in fact, every day stops at a bagel shop. <laughs> every single morning mm. before he goes into work. Creepy. Put a racer in the bagel. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. All right. So you I'll learn uh... that he stops at the bagel shop every morning. All right. By watching his movements, he has stopped there every day. All yeah. right. There you go. Dirty bagel boy. Yeah. All right. So uh, the other thing I'll do is I'll stop in with Leo, and I'll uh, ask him if we have any of the clients that he's uh, he's picked up over the last. So, uh, <laughs> as Mr. Copperhead is sitting there and the guy says, there's no crime in this town, Bart walks in and is like, there's any more clients in this neighborhood? Wink. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, friend, no, there's clients. As the crime clearly goes down in front of the cop. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> but uh, the cop is being okay, bought off, so. <laughs> uh, Nothing at the moment, yeah. he just needs someone to deal with that uh, rival banker. Well, no, I, uh, I'll, I'll show Schlumpy out the door and then go back to Leo. I'm going to get started on a few things. I just need to know some of the names of the individuals I can send ultimatums to. Hmm. Oh, it's a bit beyond that right at the moment. Hmm, really? You really want to just do something as boring as stab a man in the heart? That's a little lame. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say stab him in the heart. I asked you to stab in the back. There's a difference. You can access the heart from behind. Simple surgical knowledge will tell you that. This, this is why I hired a surgeon to stab him. <laughs> Fine. You're boring, but I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go back out. Uh, Bartholomew is going to go to his wholesale herbalist dealer that he gets his medicine from. Yeah. You know, just get what, you know, like a, a, a concoction that, that, of the... That could be your next endeavor, Ben. 
you've won yeah, free yeah, one yeah. left. Well, yeah. Oh, free one left. Okay, yeah. yeah I'm I, just I'll give make, you a fourth I'm going to make yeah. poison out of medicine. That's all. all right. So, yeah. pasta. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. There is something that happens before your turn. Ah, feel. Yeah, what did I roll again? I rolled... I forgot what I rolled. Oh, Let me roll again. There's gonna be crime in the city, isn't there? Uh, 15. What's 15? Oi! You spilled my pint! A petty argument in a local area has developed into a, fe a feud, and the GM decides who you offended and how. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I'm supposed to do this on each person. Uh, 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 ah. Pass an I'll opportunity do it. to petty revenge. So, coat rack, as you, like, like steal oh, this yeah. guy's coat and whatnot, you go into like a bar to like, you know, not be in the street when the, the body's discovered. Yep. And uh, you accidentally spill a guy's pint, and he gets in a fight with you. Oh. What? What? What do you? What do you say? Or... Uh, this person will not pass up any opportunity for penny revenge. Probably. Uh, no, it's just a guy who spilled his pint. Okay. Yeah. You spilled is, he, is he a Kislevite? Hey, no, he's just some guy. Alright, then I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the knuckle dusters off then. Yeah, he like punches you, but then he kind of gives up. Cause he... He's just angry that he spilled his pint. How would you wish to respond to that? Hmm. Hmm. How, how, how was his punch impressive or kind of wimpy? You know what? He's going to punch you and he's going to say fucking Kishlevites and he's going to fucking give you a punch. Um, after, a, after a moment of, of seething anger at being called a Kislevite, Ozzo breaks into a grin. You also understand Kislevites bad. Uh, those bastards come down here and get in the way. Um, it's 3 say... plus 3 damage. Uh, well, so that's 6 say... damage. Okay, well, I'm yeah. going to say, enemy of enemy is friend. We beat up Kislevites, yes? Uh, make a charm test. Okay. I like how you're turning this guy into like your <laughs> companion to help you fight this way. <laughs> There's always a time uh, to kill the modifier for this charm fight. test. Uh plus ten. Just ten? Ah. Oh, uh, hang on. How, I how, on his toes. how is it a fumbling failure? Oh, it's because it's a fifty five. Okay. That's why. Yeah, so I I think I might have forgotten uh, I, to explain to you that um, if you get a double number, it counts as an automatic failure and automatic success. Uh, yeah. It's like a weird thing uh, that I forgot to mention to you. Yeah, I was wondering okay. why they see the, the bot does it for me, so I never really had to explain that yeah. to you. But yeah, there you go. Fun, fun little warmer fantasy fact. It's pretty funny. Um, All right. Yeah, so that's oh. an auto failure but yeah. yeah um he he doesn't care about you he just punches you for six damage and then just ignores you uh you know i uh, screwed i'm gonna use one of my fate points on the re-rolling that yep you want to acquire a friend yeah go ahead Hey, found like failure to critical success. He stops and he turns around and he's like, "Well, you also hate Kislevites? Kislevites worst. Me took this from Kislevite, and uh, gestures to his jacket. But you're a Kislevite. No. Me beat up Kislevite. Take it. But your accent is Kislevite. No, accent Ostmark. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Most mark not Kislev. Here, if you buy me a drink, then we can uh, we can call it even. <laughs> How about we beat up Kislevites? Well, you buy me a drink first, and then we go beat up some Kislevites. Hot day. Here, take silver. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You hang yeah, out with your new friend, he, drink, he gets a vodka. There you go. I got a feeling he's just gonna drain your wallet. And then not beat up Kislevites. 
Barnum. Oui. What is your final endeavor? My final endeavor is going to the bank. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, bear in mind, if you don't go to the bank and save your money, it's not there when we, when we return in, well, in, what well, in game is two weeks' time. Oui, I have yeah. kept it in mind. All right, so, you return, you go to the Volpe Bank. Oui. You walk in to the Italian music and people talking about committing crimes. <laughs> yes, the pizza theme. Hello? Check yourself down there. Yes, sir. Hello, monsieurs. How can I help? Just gonna roll his eyes at you. Um, I was looking to put in some money. Maybe. Ah, uh, Mr. Barnum. Ah, hello. Leon. I have uh, three gold crowns. And, uh, some silver and some brass. I would like to invest, please. How much do you already have in here, Pasta? Because I don't have it on my note. Uh, currently, let's see, I have a note down here. It should be six silver shillings and 160 brass pennies. That I uns I had not sorted properly. Yep, cool. Yep. How much are you putting in? Uh, I'm putting in three gold, uh, eight silver shillings, and 18 brass pennies. 18 brass. So that is. Let me quickly cal calculate this. So. That is 60 plus 18. Is 178 uh, plus uh, 6 plus 8, it's 14 and 3. And... Alright, yep. So, in total invested, after all I drain my wallet, it should be 3 gold. 14 silver shillings and 178 brass pennies. Mm -hmm. And I need to actually uh, adjust that in terms of what is actually what. 178 divided by 12 uh, is. You probably have at least 14 silver there, Pasta. Okay, I will keep that invested. Well, no, I mean, it, it, those brass, if you swap it to silver, there's about 14 silver. So. Yeah. Uh, don't write that down now. I'm just letting you know that you probably have enough silver there to have three gold or four gold. But yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna fine. do the conversion can, while you're doing the rest of it. Can you make a D10 roll there, Pasta? Maybe. As I don't have a interest rate written down for you, eight percent. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, that is all my business, of course. Unless, of course, you have something to ask of me. I have a man who's uh, doing a task for me. Maybe. If you could give him a hand. Uh, I believe sure. you have some expertise in herbalism. Well, did you hear this? I have my ways. Fair enough. Fair point. Yep. You'll find him outside um, in the green jacket. It's the one with three hands. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the benefit of this uh, deal, if I may ask? Financial compensation. And you help, that is you help a growing business of an independent entrepreneur. I can agree to that. He's going to... Uh, Extend his hand for a handshake. Yeah, Mr. Leo will also shake hands with you. Fantastic. Mutter something in uh, Italian and uh, give you a nod. Mm, magnifique. As we say in Creole. He's going to whisper something in French. Yep. Well, Bretonian. Uh, and then he's going to walk out. Not again said. Mm -hmm. He speaks French, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, he basically just said, um, 
true deals are made with pig shit on your hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you walk away, he's like wiping his hands. Uh, as he leaves, can I roll a perception to see if he notices? Or is he very obvious? Uh, if, if he notices what? Uh, if in... Uh, if Barnum notices the reaction. Oh, no, I, I'm giving you it for free because I thought it was funny. Okay. It is just an expression. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the sinister grunting is not helping. I know. So I will count you as assisting um, Bart on his turn. Okay. Yes. Mr. Oh, Azal. You have acquired yes. a companion to assist you in. At, at the moment, you've met a friend. You see, <laughs> kiss the lights mind, bother yeah. you all time. Where they bother you at? Oh, the fucking wankers coming down here. Uh, True. Being a problem. They all. If you want to find kiss the lights, I can show you a place. Yes. He we bring, we he, hunt. He brings you to the temple of Ulfric in the temple district. You walk in the door, and it's full of kiss the lights. Hmm. Me understand. Hmm. 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 It, it did delay my turn. Well, you can't. Can um, I will uh, give you like, some suggestions, though. Um, you could try and hunt down a a Kishlevite. Uh, you could, uh, um, maybe try and infiltrate the Kishlevites and find out how you can go after them. You could, um, try and learn some more about the Church of Ulfric. Or, uh, do something else. It's up completely up to you. But we can come back to you at the end of the turn order. Uh, yeah, come if back you to prefer. Me. Yeah, give you a chance to think about it. Uh, Mr. Copperhead, for your final uh, endeavor. I would like to talk to the nice gentleman in the bank and ask if there are any um, jobs that might be in my wheelhouse that I could help them out with. He will point you in the direction of the man outside in the uh, green Excellent. jacket with the extra hand. Imagine that. Yeah. I thought that might happen. If you would Excellent. like to assist with studying a mark, you may roll a... Uh, what was the study in a mark? Test again. Uh, you technically aren't a rogue, but there's a rogue with you, so I'll allow it. Um, can you make a perception test? I can try. It's yeah. not gone well any of the other times. Yeah. Three. First of all, the first thing you notice is uh, he might be stopping at the bagel shop, but he's not actually going in. Hmm. Um, Curious. That uh, hmm. Mr. Bart Chumps had uh, acquired some false information. So you can right. point out that that's not true. However, you do realize that once he stops there, he's actually stopping to see if people are following him. And then he goes down the alleyway next to the bagel shop. Nice. So you, you figured out that if you're going to jump him, that alleyway is going to be the best spot. After he's checked um, that no one's following him. Because he's going to be looking back rather than forward. Mm -hmm. Alright. Are you happy with that? No. Nope. Yeah. Mr. Bart Chumps and Co. Hello. It is her turn. Yeah, Bart's like in his doctor's office, like mixing up the herbs he got into poison and then <laughs> Schlumpy and, and Barnum, Barnum walk in. Just burst in. <laughs> Oh, hello! What are you here doing here? I'm a doctor! <laughs> you you, you oh, may assist yeah. Barnum, or Bart with his surgery. Um, i just spectating. making poison out of medicine. <laughs> so... Would you like to jump this man in the alleyway? 
Bart. Uh, yeah, Bart. Bart's gonna make poison to put on a knife. Yep. So that uh, the the stab is hyper effective because Which he's not poison the best right, have you met? Um, I don't know the um, the ins and outs of the game's poison pipes. And we attempt um, using my of... medical knowledge. I would assume Bart would know what you shouldn't have in you in certain amounts or what does not mix well with other I'm things. I'm trying to find one here that's cheap because, like, heart kill is like 40 gold. Um, I mean, we could try some kind of double cross and just do the, you know, I go, ooh, you know, you want to mine yourself around here, it's a bit dangerous, and then you stab him oh. while I'm distracting him. Are you guys here to help me with some work? Is that what's going on? Um, that's what the, uh, the nice gentleman at the bank said, so, uh, <laughs> he said you'd know what to tell us. Huh. He has low confidence in his employee, does he? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's more just the, uh... More hands make more holes. Oh, yeah, I suppose that is, uh... Makes sense, but I'm still not approving of his lack of belief in me. Oh well, anyway, let's go get this boy. <laughs> Alright. Are you going to get his uh, stuff together and we'll just <laughs> go set up our, our alley assault, yep. I guess. Um, who wishes to distract the man? Uh, well, that's, I'm the best one for that because yeah. I'm a guard. Yeah, would you, you like to uh, to make some sort of fellowship test to bump into him? Or even an entertainment acting if you have it. Uh, I don't, but I have yeah. gossip. And that seems like it'd be pertinent as a fellowship-based skill. Well, gossip is used to get information. But I want to give information. That would probably Maybe be charm, though. Charm, charm will work. If I want to charm. You bump into the man. And you say, oh, sorry. And then he gets very flighty. And as he goes to bolt, he runs mm. straight for the alleyway. Mr. Bart. Would you like to try and stab him? Melee basic with yep. a poison dagger. Do it with a minus ten because he's been startled, so he's running. Uh, minus ten. That's yeah. not gonna be good. Yep. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna do a fortune point. Mhm. Mm I will say you right. can also use a fortune point to auto pass. Oh, really? You could. Yes. I didn't know that. I'll do that. Yep. Does that involve permanent loss of it? Um, no, because they reset per session. But there is. That um, fate that does that. What was that? Fate. Oh, fa fate and um the other one, the one next to fate. I don't have a character sheet in front of me. Let me use a second. Uh, either fate and then fortune, resilience, and resolve. Yeah, resolve is the one that doesn't reset. Or yeah, resolve is the one that doesn't reset. Uh, fate yeah. and no. there's a resilience. I always get resilience and resolve backwards, but those two are the ones that don't reset. Uh, the the bottom two do. I don't think fate resets oh, either. Cause you that, that's that. what I said. Yeah, fate and and resolve are. So which one is the auto pass one? Is that just that fortune uh, the fortune? Oh. I'd be doing that more often if I knew that. All right. Yeah. Well, either way, you only yes, get a certain amount of pa like auto passes during a session, but I will allow it. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll hit him with my fortune auto stab. Yeah. So as he goes to bolt, as he's been spooked by the guard, he goes to bolt and immediately runs onto the plate. <laughs> and you say to yourself, "Oh, that worked out." <laughs> Yay! Luck. Yep. In my favor. So, can I get... Can I get Mr. Bart Chumps, Mr. Barnum, and Mr. Schlumpy to make stealth tests? Just one. Alright. Let's see if anyone's seen it. Oof. Someone says, stop. Guards. <laughs> What's on this side? <laughs> Fate or resilience are permanent losses when you use them. Oh, they are. Is it resilience? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It is okay, the top yeah. two Fortune, then. Yeah. yeah fate so fate and top resilience two. can be regained. Okay. Fate and resilience. Is that what you said? Fate and resilience can be regained. Um, I the can give, out, give them out um, 
so I could like at the end of this campaign I was going to give you an extra fate point but uh we will come back to that uh, at the end yeah um so you stab the man someone's seen it shouts does the hue and cry and calls the guard Mr. Barton oh, yeah. slumps away down the alleyway however slumpy and poo slinger you've been mm -hmm. spotted Mm -hmm. I have been flamed. You gotta run. Bart's going to uh, Bart's going to like sneak down a few blocks and then sneak back out of an alleyway into the crowd and come running with everyone else. Coming to the back commotion. with his pitchfork and a torch after them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Bart's gonna <laughs> fucking like, run. And just be like, running. Yep. No, he'll he'll be just be like running in with the crowd, like, oh, what's yep. going on? What's all this commotion? I believe Slumpy tripped as well because he's a fumbling failure. I'm a doctor! I'm a doctor! Is someone hurt? What are you gonna do, Slumpy? Um... Hmm... Alright, cool. Check. Yep. What are you saying? I'm gonna fall over again, I think, as I try and stand up. Oh, you're a bit nervous. You say something. Say something visually nervously. What is it? Understandable. Uh, perspective. Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Mr. Uh, Mr. Barnum, what do you say? Uh, I'm going to say bye bye! Uh, I'm being framed! You gonna attempt to run away? Yeah, he, he's gonna you... say he's being framed, just run. Can you run an endurance check? Yes, sir. I roll an endurance check, sorry. I could try to run one too, but... You, you managed to one. outrun the, the angry mob, however... Uh, Slumpy. You have been captured. Understandable. Okay. Fortunately for you, they end up locking you in a cell in your own precinct. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'll do it. Yeah. Well, wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. <laughs> well, there's like... not enough crime, so you create the crime. <laughs> no, I, I was, I, Bart was gonna try to like intervene in this situation and like lead it alternate directions, but <laughs> it's gonna like instantly throw him in jail. Right you know what? Like, because you, you've been rolling so well so far on this, I'll give you one more action on it. Me? Yep. You can go to the I'll police station and try and get him out. Uh, okay. I was I was trying to like intervene, like in the yeah. commotion. Oh, before like, he's captured. Oh, no, this yeah. man is wounded. Oh. Yep. But uh, before like prison stuff happened. Oh, so you rushed but... towards Slumpy. You yeah, smear like, uh, like the blood once he got from down, the dead man all when... over him. It's like, oh no, he was wounded. No, like what? Let me let me just. <laughs> Put this out there like yeah. the whole point of me slinking away and then coming get back out an alley a couple blocks down and they're running back in was like oh no someone's been hurt is okay, that what's I going on I'm a doctor I can help and like immediately yeah. come right back on the scene to like take care of the guy yeah but also just be like oh did you see where he went young god boy well the guard seen slumpy bump into him and then speak to him and then he was dead on the ground so the witnesses say that he Slumpy stabbed him. That could okay. not be the case. Yeah. This man is a town guard. I also don't have a knife. I believe you do. Behold. Well, my knife this is man... still there, and I'm holding a poleaxe. Well, on the other hand, I do have a dagger. Uh, no, I don't have a knife. I have yeah. a dagger, like pasta does. It, no, no. Yeah, I could be framed. You, you have a dagger, Hold but that, the peasants aren't that smart. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Uh, yeah, as yeah. as Bart as Bart is like shuffling with the body, like trying to do quote unquote triage, but not actually trying to. You're just stabbing him repeatedly again. <laughs> I want to I want to use sleight of hand to pull out a sh the Schatzenheimer gang ring I had in my yeah. inventory, just out of my pocket. All right. And like put it in his hand while he's like laying on the ground. Oh, okay, you're you're <laughs> planting. Uh... Look! Oh, look at this. Yeah, go, let me do a sleight of hand if I have to. Oh, no, I'll, I'll allow it. 
I'll allow it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. As everyone is paying attention to Slumpy to try to stop him from escaping. Success! Yep. This was clearly the work of... Hmm. Does any guards come here? Does anyone know this signet? Would you like, like to make a ring. intelligence check or a knowledge, uh, what? knowledge, uh, some sort of knowledge test, Skog? Be a knowledge well, other or guards are here land. that have come running. Skog oh. is the local guard. It uh, happens to be closest by. Yeah, but like, who, who, who are you saying arrested Skog while I was here? <laughs> really? the, the people are holding him down. It's a citizen's oh, the, arrest. This is a citizen's it, it's arrest. It's a citizen's <laughs> arrest. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, no. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in medieval uh, era. Oh shit, you That's know this. You know this ring. Well, yeah, you've seen it before. It was part of uh, the gang from Marienburg. The Mar a Marienburg uh, crime syndicate. Goodness me! This <laughs> man! It must have been gang violence! <laughs> Can you make burger. a acting test? Like entertainment sure, acting sure. test if you have it. If not, just do a uh, a fellowship test. Alright, uh fellowship. Well let me let me see what I have in my skill. Yeah, fellowship, I guess. Uh fingers crossed. Oh uh, dang nabbit. Last fortune point. Try again. Re roll. And hope I don't fuck up as bad. Is anyone looking for Barnum? At this Only point? slightly less. <laughs> no, past the escape. Could you? Can I roll perception to see if he overheard? He is in of this. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Oof. Nope. No, you yes, don't. Yes, it does. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I might have fortunes this too. <laughs> Sorry. Well, once once Mister Slumpy is brought down to the precinct. The evidence is presented uh, for the Marienburg thing, and uh... yeah, the guy believes it. Yeah, it must be like why? Why would Slumpy have stabbed him? Like why would Slumpy exactly. like take part in a murder? Clearly, this is the Marienburg mm -hmm. boys that that uh, that killed this man. This man has been involved in bad business. Yep, and Slumpy is released, and uh, they apologize for the stupidity of the fucking locals who don't can't fucking see see straight. Apparently, too much vigilantism in this town. It's not enough. <laughs> Gang vigilantism. It is the law. You notice man. the citizenry caught the guard, not the criminal. <laughs> 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 All right, Master Stu. For your this town are useless. <laughs> for your final endeavor, Master Stu. What would you like uh, to do? I'll just fucking go to the bank. Uh, yep. Uh, be careful, you'll be broken too. You've got two gold. Oh, you're you're in, you're putting in two gold, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so my is. Where is uh, currently has uh duh, duh, duh. Oh, my note is actually fucking all over the place here. So it says you've got three gold, eighty four shillings, and forty eight brass. Plus you're putting in two gold, yeah. Two gold and eighteen silver. Eighteen silver. Cool. Uh, you have an interest rate of ten. Oh, nice. All right. Nice. Yeah, you rolled a ten on your interest rate. <laughs> yeah, the highest possible one. <laughs> yeah. Government employee. <laughs> yeah, I thought you did good. You did damn good. And you know what? As you're sitting there, um, talking with the guy, and uh, tells you 
like some account information and whatnot. In walks Slumpy Barnum and Bart Chumps. Good deal. Uh, do you wish to tell Leo anything? I'm sure you've already heard, but all done. Well done! Ah, thank you. I suppose we we managed to get off fairly scot free. I shall add a uh, a bonus to your uh, your accounts, shall I? Thank you kindly. And uh, he is going to add um, a certain amount of money additional to your bank accounts. Alright. Yeah. I will say you're an intriguing man when it comes to your side business, uh, Monsieur Bart. Oh. I might what want side to... business? I'm a doctor and a barber. Have a nice day. And out he goes. I might say part another time if you're full, but I'll be more careful. <laughs> Just doctor and a barber. Have a nice day. Off he goes. I like how he's just uh, shouting after you. I want to be in. I, I should be more careful. So for the three for the three people that assisted in the the assassination of that banker, yeah, you acquired ten gold each. Yeah. It's been added to your bank account, so it's not in your inventory, so you yeah, don't lose yeah. it for the by the next game. But you have acquired extra cash. Right. You were paid thirty gold I'd... basically. You split it between the three. Yeah. Yep. Yay, money. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, we have reached the end, and I rolled no encounter, so, is there anything? Uh, I, we were going to go back to me. That is correct. Mm. I knew I was missing yeah, something. Thanks. I forgot to write down, go back to Cobra. Okay. No worries, no yep. worries. I remembered what, it. what did you decide uh, to do? Get not I have decided that mm -hmm. I am going to, okay, so first I would like you to describe who all's actually in this church. Uh, like the church of, the priests of Ulfric, who are... Like Imperials, uh, there's a bunch of Imperials around as well. Lots of women and children. Uh, there's quite a few Kishlevite men, like a lot. Appears it's like some sort of feast day of Ulfric. So people are there to pray to Ulfric and celebrate him. Is there a bathroom? There's like a dartboard in the corner with like. Uh, a picture of Sigmar and a bunch of darts in it. Uh, yes, there is a bathroom. It's next to the dartboard. All right. Excellent. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to intentionally uh, get one of the toilets clogged. Oh, okay. You uh. You shove a tap. Oh. It is a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. There is a privy, and uh, it is a dry privy, so... Ah, well in that case... To clog it I would will... probably involve, you know, filling in a massive hole. Okay, well that's an even better idea then. I'm going to dip the Kislevite jacket in there, and drag it across the floor, all over the room. Oh, you're just going to wreck the privy with the Kislevite jacket? Yes. Okay. Then I'm... Then I'm gonna run out yelling, "Oh, Kislevites are disgusting!" and and leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heck. Oh, he might have just picked a fight with the Church of Ulfric. <laughs> 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 well, uh, they're gonna have to crusade the whole party then. Well, let me have a look at the time. Oh, we're only we've to thirty minutes. So. With that, in the streets of Nold, this one might do. Mm -hmm. Let me just adjust this slightly. <clears throat> it's gonna clear I was it. Playing Father Wreck last time we used this map. Yep. Can you check yourselves down? <clears throat> Where, Where is it? Was put? Just anywhere. 
As you I all, don't know what you're talking about, you Barnum. Re- I'm merely a surgeon and a doctor and a barber. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure you are, but in any case, I could say I am not merely a farmer anymore, mm-hmm. and I might be interested. Keep keep your injury coat back. Um, I did. Yeah, uh, Stu, would you mind chucking yourself down as well? I might be interested in a bit more profits, we. Oui? Sigmar Meyer hangs <laughs> out the window and says, Shut up, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Dear heaven! in your ears, gun boy! Wait a minute, is that Monsieur Sigbert? Come on, come out here. We're going to have a party at the bar, we. Oui? Celebrate. Do you have any interest in accompanying them on, on the party, uh, Master Stu? We're going to go get co-op till we throw up! Yay! So, you encounter someone. Hello! Ah, I'm just the man I was looking for. Oh, I saw? Who's that behind you? You encounter a familiar face. She is wearing ar- lots of armor emblazoned with a uh, certain symbol on it. You seem somewhat similar, but I cannot point you out. And I met you while I am drunk! I'm gonna keep the current initiative order and add her to it. Uh, beware, however, we won't be able to see the initiative order, so we might need to announce it. Oh, you know what? Uh, let me, let me, let me redo the initiative order. Would you like to roll initiative? Yes, sir. Let me. Alright, so we are rolling? Yep, roll initiative. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we can actually see it, to be Mm -hmm. fair. You encounter Grunhilda again. She has returned, and this time she looks pissed off. She is wearing what appears to be silvered, like with like a weird purple tone to it, armor that is emblazoned with that weird symbol of that 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 cult of the pleasure god use. Cult of the what now? Exactly. Sigurd Meyer, would you also like to join the initiative, or are you good? I think he's absent for the time being. Okay. I think he is going to be right back. Alright then. So. <laughs> you have encountered Grunhilda, the Chaos Warrior. <laughs> Uh, oh, should uh, I say? Ah! Uh, All right, Bart, Barnum, it, it is your turn. What would you like to do as you have encountered Grunhilda, Chaos Warrior? He's gonna walk up and just be like, "I think I remember you, but I can't quite place you. Where did we meet? Was I very intoxicated?" She just shouts, where... Where is Ingrid? Where is Benedict Ingrid? Oh shit, you're one of her girlfriends. Um, Good question. I think she's in like some hotel, oui? Are you actually gonna point to where she's gone, yeah? Uh, He's uncertain. I'd say he's probably disorientated. If also knows no, where she is. Uh, you know that she is at the the manor in Embostine. Oh, okay, then I'll say it. Yep. Okay, Bottom's just gonna guess she's probably uh, in some hotel. He hasn't asked. Embostine Manor. Thank you, little she... man. Embostine for a piss. Uh, why was you so heavily armored? She just stares at you for a moment and just says, it's a gift from the god of pleasure. 
Hmm. I take it it's not real, because you don't seem like somebody who takes pleasure in blowing the... Uh... Does that mean anything to Bart? Make a... Point? Make some sort of intelligence test. I doubt you uh, you, you have yeah, any knowledge chaos, mean. so... If you have yeah, knowledge no, chaos, okay. roll knowledge chaos, but otherwise just do an intelligence test. I'll just do an intelligence test. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess Bottom's gonna do it, but I doubt... Yeah, he doesn't make it. I take, it, I take it it's not real, because I don't think you take pleasure in plowing the fields. We? Oui? <laughs> no idea what that's all about. I uh... mean, I like plowing the fields. I take pleasure in that. Let me have a quick look at something, because something's missing from the sheet. Uh... That's not the correct one. That's the one I yes. want. This is the one I want. That will do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, one of the main reasons I end up drinking so much is because I miss plowing the fields, me. I miss the smell of barley. Oh, okay. Um, she possesses the distraction. Thing. Oh dear, that just this does not bode well. Yep. Um She also has a prejudice, okay. What she, is she prejudiced against? And some young lads. <laughs> 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 oh no, then nice. we're all screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I fit young, but not handsome. At least not Barnum. Anyway. I'm beautiful. <laughs> you might be young, but he ain't beautiful. Grun Grunhilde thanks you for your information, small man, Mr. Azov. Uh, You're welcome, if yeah. thankful, kill Kislevite for me. But, uh... The, uh... You, you suddenly notice that they're coming out around the alleyways and whatnot around you. There are other cultists wearing like purple and white robes and uh, are brandishing weapons. You also looking for Ingrid at Manor in Mumbastain? Because she rolled a minus six, fumbling failure, <laughs> she will agree to that. Yes. Yes, we are. I see. I take it you're not run, running the hedges like moi. Does anyone else and... have anything they would like to say to Grunhilda before she leaves? <laughs> no. We to see you again. Um. She thanks while. you, <laughs> and she'll say, uh... "Actually, Barnum has one thing." Yeah. You seem very angry. Did you wake up? She she Don't betrayed the cult. Nice woman. I take it she betrayed your relationship. We yeah, she betrayed me. <laughs> we need to go ah. and uh, deal with her. Are you sure? valid reason. Thank you for your information. Are you sure we should let an angry ex just pass over and probably will kill her? Not save problem. <laughs> It's just a domestic dispute. It technically isn't your problem. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I guess. Just curly things. Yep. <laughs> so, um, Grunhilde will thank you for your information, and her and all of the Chaos Cult of Slanesh are hunting <laughs> Ingrid down. <laughs> will leave. Have a nice day, Miss Lesbian Lady. <laughs> they will all leave and uh, go off to go and. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> boss. Do 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 you think uh, they have uh, guards at uh, this manor? At least now no one can accuse me of always trying to cause problems. I, I mean, Mark doesn't like, know what's going on. I, mean, I just prevented a, I just prevented a fight. So you're welcome. No, I don't have a good reason to say no. <laughs> that actually Not even the law and order said no. That that actually was pretty funny. You said the one thing. That that would have got her to go away. 
by giving her the information I thought you would refuse to give her. <laughs> like, oh, no, it, no, we don't doesn't. know there's a nefarious nature to it. I mean, well, not until we realized there were the... exes, and also, then didn't really get along with her all that well. <laughs> oh no. Well, no, sorry! I'm very sorry, boss! I'm very sorry! Well... <laughs> Any final messages? Because we will leave it at that, on the cliffhanger <laughs> of... Does Ingrid get oh. murdered? Does also David prevails. stab the Countess? Does um, Shalia and and Shelley the Shalian and Sigbert Meyer did they get married? I don't know. We'll find out. It has only been two weeks. <laughs> we'll burn them. Get the wedding. Shotgun Eventually. wedding. Eventually. Uh, yeah. We we'll, we will leave it there. Any final messages? There is no ah. innocent Kislevite. Also, Phil, uh, also, as we say in Brion, a good deal is made with pig shit on your hands. It's only an expression. <laughs> Maybe I will not work with Barnum anymore. I don't it's know. not my fault. I can't trust you in my Dr. Barber surgery with dirty, dirty hands. <laughs> <laughs> like Alright. I make potions and concoctions. I don't barble. How about Please keep poop out of the wounds? How about you, Mr. Slumpy? Any final messages? No. For the the, fin <laughs> the no. final session. Uh I guess that is that. I didn't kill anyone important, I don't think. That's probably good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good point. So I hope you enjoyed I saved that. Your life and reputation. I hope you enjoyed that. Today was a little bit different. I didn't even get to really need the the sand timer, so that's good. We were pretty Yay. quick. We're nice. yeah. We were very quick. Yeah. I, I like how sweet we were. Yep. Yeah. So uh yeah, you get some XP, you all gain a uh a fate point. Nice. We get a free fake yeah. one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Does that also count towards the fortune points? Uh, doesn't. Not this time. No. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Then I'm just gonna refresh the fortune points as normal. Yep. Yes, sir. So, I guess we leave it all there. We will continue doing some stuff behind the scenes. Uh, this is the final session, so I hope you enjoyed watching along and we'll see you for future projects and possibly a continuation of this at some point in the future uh, I guess mm -hmm. have a good night everyone ah can oh. I have one final thing as they say both in Breton and in the pair allons-y <laughs> <laughs>